Hey guys, The Bearded Bard here from BVR Bros. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing an update for my last Live Mixed Reality video. Um, they have made some huge changes and some huge improvements making it so easy to put you in a mixed reality world, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the items you need to do this and then we're gonna go through the setup. So, first things first, guys. The first thing you are going to need is going to be some sort of webcam, okay? So whether you decide to use a um, something like a Logitech C920, always a good option, works well. If you use a 620 or anything less than that, you're gonna get, get a lot of graininess and a lot of green around the uh, around yourself. Even with the best lighting, it's not gonna come out the best for mixed reality. Um, I'm gonna be using a Panasonic um, HX920, um, which is what I'm using to shoot this video with now. Uh, which is a little overkill, but it seems to work great. Also, um, you could also use anything like a GoPro. Um, uh, the better camera, you can get the better. If you have an Elgato cam link, um, you're gonna be sitting pretty well. So, um, you're gonna need a camera, you're gonna need a computer, and you're gonna need a green screen. So behind what you see here, my whole wall is a green screen, okay? You can do it a few different ways. Um, you could build the green screen out as a cube if you want, if you wanna be able to manipulate the camera features within mixed reality, or, you just need one simple green screen. Um, you can still give off a really great effect, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So what I'm gonna be going through is I'm gonna be going through the installation process. We're gonna install the software to do it. I'm gonna um, take you through the configuration process, which is so easy this time around. Um, and then we're gonna launch a game and, and see what it looks like. This whole thing should take us about, I don't know with installation, probably 10 minutes and you'll be up and running, okay? Um, Make sure you have good lighting. Uh, I am using some um, some photo lights that I have on each side of my room here that are gonna be casting onto the green screen behind me. Um, lighting's gonna be very important in making sure that this uh, picture quality ends up good uh, for the mixed reality, all right? Either way, uh, here we go. Again, just to give you an overview, this is, my, this is the area I'm using here right now, so I have two lights. These lights are gonna be shining across the room onto this green screen I bought, all right? Now these green screens you can get anywhere if you get green cloth. This is a huge green screen I got for I think $28 on Amazon, okay? Not too expensive, um, works really well. It's just tacked up on my wall, just hanging down nice and friendly, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a camera and I'm gonna be mounting it right here, okay? So the way I found best is having a camera that's mounted up high enough to where you can get that downward angle, all right? So that way it can get you from a good point of view, all right? So from up here, down on your scene. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do on our computer is we're gonna navigate to our, um, our Steam store and we're gonna go to uh, Live store page. So go to the search page, type in Live, you're gonna get this right here. Live, 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 all right? So you're gonna scroll down here. This is gonna talk about the client V0.1 update. Read through this. There's a lot of good information in there, okay? Um, install this bad boy. It's gonna install. Once it's installed, you are ready to get started, okay? So we're gonna go to our Steam here. Once it's set up, you're gonna see this nice little window. So what they did here is um, they gave you a guide. Open this guide, guys and you will not believe your eyes, all right? It is a full, comprehensive guide, step-by-step -step on how to get this to work, what cameras it works best with, action cams, DSLRs, ones that are known to work, um, recommended capture cards, everything you need to know, a Wikipedia of sorts for you to kind of dig in and play with, all right? But let's get to it. So um, you'll need a virtual camera driver. If you don't have that, that's okay. This install won't be blacked out. You'll be able to hit it, and it'll, uh, it'll install it for you, okay? So you'll hit install, boop, boop. If you haven't already, it'll do a quick install um, and relaunch, get you to this part, and then it'll let you launch Compositor. All right, guys, so here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna install the virtual camera driver. Once you do that, you're gonna hit the launch button, launch Compositor. It's gonna bring you to a window that looks like this. Black all around, says mixed reality, provided by live at the bottom. You'll have a nice little menu box in front of you that gives you all your options to set everything up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our camera here. We're gonna hit our add button. We're gonna hit our device. In this case, we're using an Elgato Cam Link um, hooked to our Panasonic camera. So we're gonna hit Cam Link. If I hold my hand up here in a second, it should, uh, in theory, it should pick up that, that camera. There we go. Hi, hi. So if we were to stand in front of this now, 
you can see me, right? Here we are, guys. We did it. We're halfway there. Okay, so now's the important part. Now we have to go through our settings and set up this virtual camera. All right, so the way we're gonna do that is this. <clears throat> Here on the screen, now that we hit add, we had our camera up there, right? It's gonna bring you to this menu. You're gonna click your camera. This should be um, standard. Mine, mine goes to YUY2, but yours, yours will automatically pick up what should be here, okay? And that's fine. Leave that. Um, uh, the other options we have here is our calibration, which is the most important part. We're going to do that in a second. But first, I want you to skip that when you go down to your key. Make sure that your color key is working good with your green screen. Um, again, um, it should green that out for you. If it doesn't, then you can do all of that in through here. Cropping and flipping, this is also important. Um, let's say, for example, your green screen, let's say, for example, your green screen cuts off right here and right here like mine does, okay? So outside of these black borders is my, my wall and a door, right? So using these, using these crop filters, I can bring these black bars in, so it's just cropping out my green screen space, right? So while I'm in game, it's only using the green screen where I need to be, right? So the issue, problem is that though, if I do step off like this, off to the side too far, or off to the side of this side too far, you will see that in the mixed reality, right? I'll go behind whatever object is in front of me. So um, be, be cautious of that and how you set that up. Obviously, the wider space you have, um, the better, but of course, we all know that that can't always be the case, okay? So um, coming back into it, this is where you'll, where you'll make those changes. Um, for example, see this black bar where my hand is? If I were to take the right and hit the plus, it would move that over, right? So all it's doing is cropping the uh, image. Once you get it where you want it, you're just gonna hit the save key. Everything's nice and saved, all right? So we're gonna go back to our edit here. We're gonna go to our calibration, and what we're gonna do is hit begin calibrate, all right? So this is gonna say switch to the Viber window to calibrate your screen. Click focus to bring its window to the front. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to um, put on your Vive, right? So we're gonna put our Vive on here. And what you're going to see, let me move these guys out of the way so you can see what I see here. Let's move this out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. This is what we see, all right? Obviously, this is not good, right? Can we agree on that? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit, um, in your vibe, you'll have a menu setting below you that says Calibrate Camera that you'll click on. So what it'll give me is I think you can see that, yes you can. Top left corner, make sure you install both your controller, which we did, do not move your camera during calibration, press any button to continue. Now, it's showing me up here in the corner exactly what to do. Take this, walk up to your camera, oh, shoot. In, in my case, my camera is not plugged in for this video, so it shut off on me, that's not what we want. Okay, so walk up to the camera, put your controller over the top of it, Oh, uh, pull the trigger. Boop. So what this is doing is just mapping out the virtual space, right? It puts a tape measure down here. You walk backwards till it's green. It tells you you're in a safe spot. Reach up, pull the trigger, reach over, uh, pull the trigger, boom. Look at that, much better. It will give me bars on the bottom where I can kind of calibrate it if I want, but this is perfect. So in here, there's a save option. You'll point down and click that save option. See that? See how it's a little off? There is areas in here for me to um, for me to change that rotation, right, and that position, so I can move these down, up, over, uh, and kind of just find that that sweet spot that you like, right. So if we look at this guy, I'm doing this all in the headset, guys. Super self-explanatory. Once you're in here, you'll be able to see these menu options. We'll hit save. There we go. Headset is coming off. Your new calibration settings are imported now. All we're gonna do is hit OK. We're gonna hit save again. We're done, guys. That's it, we're done. Now we're gonna go to our capture. Um, we're gonna pick our game, right? If it is a supported game, so let's say, for example, we wanna do Beat Saber. We'll hit our Beat Saber button, or our Electronauts button, or Standout, or any game we wanna play. Um, we'll hit launch. <clears throat> and this, this part confused me for, for a second, because I assume once it launched up, you'd be able to see me and you can't, but that's because you have to go down to your menu and reopen the Vive window, the Viver window, okay? 
So instead of having down on your tab down here, instead of having Beat Saber up, right, you're gonna open and record off your, your, um, your live window. So here's my live window. So now if I were to stand up, you'd see me in here, right? So you'd see me in here. Obviously my green screen is not, not the best right now where it should be. Um, also, I don't have my headset on, so if I were to move that over here, it'd look a lot better. So headset, we're in mixed reality, all this stuff should work now. Um, with the Beat Saber, you can change your room orientation, right? So they're seeing um, in front of you. A lot of other games, it's, it, it's a little confusing based on where you, um, where your camera's positioned, right? But if you have the advanced five settings, which you can download for free, the OpenVR advanced five settings, you can rotate your play space in any game and get whatever camera angle uh, you wish so choose while in VR. Anyway, so this is it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Guys, if you just download Live and you jump in it, it walks you step by step on exactly how to do it. Um, you'll be up in no time. Super fun, easy to do. Um, my, biggest, my biggest advice to you is make sure you have good lighting, make sure you have a good camera. Um, and uh, and have fun. Should be a good time. All right. Hopefully this helps somebody. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. If you have any questions, guys, holler. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna end it on that. Anytime you want to relaunch Live again, it will save those camera settings. You won't have to recalibrate it again, unless you move your camera. If you move your camera, you will have to do a recalibration. Um, so whatever camera you plan on using for mixed reality. Uh, try to keep it in that spot if it's a spare one. If it's not a spare one and you're using your webcam, every time you do reposition it um, up a little higher to do your mixed reality, um, you are going to have to redo it. But again, not a problem. It takes only seconds to do, um, and it's super easy. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, please feel free to ask if there's any games you want me to test out that aren't on the Live, um, the Live approved games. Let me know, and I'll see if I can find some good settings for you. But uh, uh, have fun, guys. Talk to you later, okay?